Welcome guys, uh, this is part two of our Godzilla movie marathon thingy. Don't really have a proper name for it, but who cares. My name is Menedic. Menedic Godzilla-thon. Yeah, no. if I want to get uh, infringe on James' <laughs> copyrighted material already. Uh, SM Hammer 15. It's Connor J45. Links in the description below. <laughs> Don't worry, we won't milk that too much this time. But um, on today's, we are going to the next film in the series, which after the original was Godzilla Raids Again, uh, or... a film that really I, I feel like isn't too well known because I, like out of the big name ones, it's kind of one of the lesser known ones in the show era, and uh, I think it kind of proves it when you watch the movie, but yeah. Um, a actual story-wise to this is that this movie... I'm assuming it takes place really soon after the original, <clears throat> and they just, uh, as fishermen are going by, they somehow find uh, uh, Godzilla and this new creature who they identify as an Anglosaurus, which they nickname Angurus, um, are fighting, and from there they make their way uh, onto the shore in Osaka, fight, and they have to deal with it in some way. Um, so it's it's not it's not like the original film where it's uh like this kind of sort of take on the what's the effect of like nuclear weapons all that it's this is pretty much the start of let's just have a monster movie um and that's what I pretty much think this movie is like yeah uh you it's it's got a drastic change right off the bat with the whole um the whole feel of the movie like obvious like they were trying to say something in the first one this one is just obvious monster fights right off the bat with uh pretty much godzilla and Angiris fighting i think straight from the opening music you can tell the tone is very different like in the original movie you kind of got the ominous uh music which plays throughout the whole film um and all those kind of moments but this one you just get loud trumpets and it's just like all kind of like oh look at this upbeat like they're gonna run into stuff and whatnot so it doesn't mean this movie doesn't have any kind of, like, serious moments. I say it has, like, maybe one, at least. Well, you know, when, uh... When, you know... End. Yeah. But, um... But, other than that, it doesn't really feel as serious. No, this is very much where they're trying to, like, change Godzilla into a, a very different... I feel like... I, I think this movie's very prominent that it's kind of like a... We gotta make a sequel to the original because it did very well. So let's just make this, like, new movie. And it's not in tone with the original at all. Yeah, like, one of the big things that they acknowledge... One of the things they eventually say is this is a second Godzilla, not like the first one magically comes back to life. It's a second one, completely different from the original. Quite literally, in every form of the sense. Yeah. Which half explains why the suit is different, because it's supposed to be a different Godzilla. Exactly. It's which, as we could probably agree, it's not the best Godzilla design. Oh no. 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 Um, it's great for memes. <laughs> they very much toned him down. Like in the original movie, because of how much weight it was on the actor and how much uh, it was hard for him to move around, how much they had to go to other effects when they did different shots you could definitely tell they're like all right let's just make this as comfortable for the actor as possible even if it looks really weird and he's probably the thinnest out of the show era i feel like and he's he's as i kind of stated to these guys earlier when we were watching it this suit's weird because they give a lot of prominence to his like ears which is never done again like his ears are always very much just like part of his head and it's just kind of like into his rounded head shape or like just little holes yeah that you can't really notice or unless it's like you... blended into the suit yeah but here they stick out and i just think they look like like dopey ears and they, it's they, he weird. looks like a rejected uh muppets character yeah that's when you see the suit. A lot of times when they show godzilla they're showing him like the top head puppet part yeah that looks really different he yeah, he's... I would say it's not as... Well, to an extent, it's not as derpy as the original one, but it, I think that the shots they go for with that look weird, like, because they kind of... they It really much looks fake. I mean, yeah. Yeah, you could argue the first one was fake, but at least with the way they shot it, it could pass off as a real thing. 
Yeah, and I think you can give more of a leeway to the original because it's the first film. It's what they had at the time. Yeah. And the tone of the film, you know, is... Uh, warrants being able to kind of look past that and just accept what's going on in the situation. This is just a sequel where there's not really that kind of a tone to it. So when you see all this stuff, it's so much easier to just point it out and be like, oh, that looks weird. Especially the fight scenes. Yes. <laughs> the fight scenes were like, they. I'm guessing they fought as normal, but due to even though they the suits were probably lighter, it was still slower looking. And they just sped up the footage. They Yeah, uh, they'd always keep speeding it up and this is before they really started to do a lot of like unique attacks for monsters by having different like breaths or different abilities and stuff so all they do the whole movie is pretty much just bump into each other and just try to tackle each other and it, it looks quite bizarre <laughs> yeah especially when they kind of have an inconsistency at times well and sometimes how they do shots like there's a moment where Angiris took a what looks like an atomic breath to the face but you know the whole it doesn't even, but it looks like it doesn't even phase him. But yeah, later on when he gets killed, spoilers, mm -hmm. uh, he just straight up burns. He, well, first he gets you know killed, and then he gets burned. Gets like he gets set on fire. So that's why I like to think that he was trying to avoid it. But, but they didn't it looked... really convey it well. Yeah, <laughs> why not just insert that sh uh, shot of his head doing that weird rotation thing? Oh, and uh, people break out of a prison. Yep, yeah, there's a uh, there's that. <laughs> there's a prison break movie just lodged in here randomly. Well, it's not really that big, you know, of a plot point, but it, it's what causes the monsters to eventually come yeah. up on the land, which is really weird if you haven't seen the movie. To us, just say, yeah, prison break is what causes Godzilla and Angiras to it's, appear. Yeah, it's, but it's. I think it's like it's interesting. A lot of people just say it's it's not that good, and then that's it. They never really talk about like the like the smaller stuff, like. How does one watch a Godzilla movie and just see this whole prison uh, breakout thing, and it's almost like it could be its own movie? Yeah. It's, uh... I think the biggest thing about this movie that makes it so... Like, to me, overall, I would say I think this movie's just kind of, like, a fairly average Godzilla film. Like, I don't think it does anything really bad, but it doesn't ever do anything that's really fun. Like... This is definitely their first attempt at trying to do two monsters, having them fight, and... But the thing I think that really gives this movie kind of like a... a you know, you don't really think about it as much is because it's just completely foreshadowed by the original. Like, not foreshadowed, but it's completely... Overshadowed. Overshadowed by the original, yeah. That's the word you're looking like, for. Like, this movie comes right off the heels of the original, and it really just goes in a completely different way, and compared to later films, like, especially the next one coming up... It, it it's so overlooked because nobody really like remembers it nobody really thinks about it because a lot of the other films that do what this one does does it a lot better and then you have the movie before this which is very different from the rest of the film so it's just kind of like sandwiched in and you just like you watch it and you're like well that was a Godzilla movie you, know, you can see they're heading in this direction but uh, I would like to bring up a few things first off there were, there were human main characters which that was a I mean, yeah, yeah. Well, like, it's weird because this movie... Because um, here's the thing. It's like, with this one, it's the, again, like the prison thing, it feels like its own movie. That's the weird thing. Like like you said with the whole sandwich thing. You got, like, these fishermen, like, story arc, like, story, I should say, that feels like it could be its own movie. Then you yeah. got another thing, which is, like I said, the prison breakout thing, which is its own thing. And then there's the Godzilla movie. I just find it funny. You could tell they it's a separate. It feels like a separate movie because if they completely forget about Godzilla until it's like, oh yeah, this is a Godzilla movie. Godzilla's coming. To me, this seems like a case of where they were told they had to make a sequel. So like, okay, for the next movie we're gonna have Godzilla come back and he's gonna fight a monster. And they're like, all right, sweet. So that's what we'll do for the movie. What's the rest of the plot? Uh. Fisherman guys are the ones that and they're find talking them about and the them. the company, and then the guy was like really getting into the story later on. He's like, "Oh yeah, yeah." And he's like, "Oh uh, guys, we need to have this still connect to Godzilla." Yeah. Oh right. Okay. We'll just have him come back at the very end, and they have to deal with it again. And there you go. There's the movie. If I have to so. be honest, the part I did like the most that's that's not saying much about this movie. Sadly, uh, I did like the final sequence when they uh, eventually find a way to beat Godzilla. I did think at least that felt like an actual Godzilla movie. Yeah. Like, how... 
it's yes, it's a t- it's a temporary victory, but it's at least a satisfying temporary victory. Mm-hmm. How they encase Godzilla in a uh, pretty much encase him in ice. Yeah, get him in an uh, icicle prison, pretty much. Um, Which would give Toho a big break to do other monster movies. Yeah, it's interesting because uh, the next movie after this is not going to happen. So I, I I haven't really looked it up, but I wonder if this movie didn't really do mo- very well, or they just thought, you know, like, okay, Godzilla's done. Let's kind of start doing other monster movies I'm or thinking something. that's what they kind of did. Like, they took a break because, you know, probably didn't do well, and they wanted to try to experiment with other monsters. Yeah. Like Mothra, Rodan, um... Uh, Varon. Yeah, yeah. Like, these other monsters... I don't know what point in the series they ever, like... I don't know if that was, like, between all of Godzilla versus King Kong and Raids again. Technically... It might be, because it's... Actually, technically, if uh, if we're going to talk a bit about the timeline here, technically, those spin-off movies are separate up until a certain point, because it's, like, technically... Well, I'm just talking about, like, when they made the movies, not necessarily how they connect. I know, but I'm just saying, like... For example, the the other monster movies, like, pretty much the Not Mothra, I'm pretty sure, yeah, Not Mothra, like, and, like, the other Godzilla movies, pretty much are connected to Final Wars because of the stock footage. Yeah. And, uh, and the original Mothra only connects to another Godzilla movie, I feel like, but, again, we'll get to that one in a bit, in a long time. But, other than that, it... Not much really to say except for the weird moments that nobody really brings up about. What did you think, Connor? I thought it was. I thought he, uh, Nick, worded it the best about how it's been sandwiched in, into uh, obscurity. We'll call yeah. it. Yeah. It's, uh, it's very much a movie, <clears throat> like a movie that's trying right off the heels, and it's only a year difference between the films. So. It's 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 kind of an awkward placement. Um, it's easily one of the most forgettable Showa films. I would say it's not a bad film. I would uh, I would think, but but with the movies that follow, it kind of just gets completely overshadowed by those. Yeah, and even some of the bad films have just really memorable parts. I say the most memorable part about this film is kind of the look of the monsters. The fact that this is the first fight. So you and the introduction of Angiras. Yeah, this is like Angiras's big thing, which is funny because he pretty much just gets shafted until much later. But uh, yeah, um, the story isn't too great, but it's not bad. It's just kind of there. It j- it's very much uh, badly just kind of sliced in there. Like, oh, we gotta have a story to go along with this. There you go. Um, they even have some actors returning, um, but. They're just kind of there. They're not. They don't really contribute much. No, they're just like, hey, see, look, this is connected. This is from the original. Um, so, it's a just a kind of average Godzilla film that's just, just randomly there. It's just it. What leads us to the direction that Godzilla eventually goes, but it's not really. I would say the next film is the one that really started to kind of push it into that direction. Yeah, but for now, it's just kind of forgettable, but not bad average movie at best. I feel like out of what most fans have seen, this is probably one of those ones that it's most likely to have been like accidentally skipped over or like, oh, I didn't watch that one because it really doesn't have that much going for it other than the fact that, well, it is the last black and white Godzilla film because after this they're all in color, so that's the other thing I guess it's got. Thank God. <laughs> um, Anything else you guys can think of? Uh, to say about it before we, I honestly don't know what else. It's to just say. it's just hard to say because it's like it's not it's like not. What am I trying to say? There's not much to it that we can really say other than what we've already said. It's not exactly special. No, I've seen it a couple times, and they've only seen it. This is the first time they've ever seen it all the way through. Mm-hmm. These two, so that that kind of proves our points. We've been Godzilla fans for how many years? This is the first time ever seeing them, and I've seen it a couple times, and it, yeah, it's not it's nothing really that special. So I guess we wouldn't blame you if you were to skip the the movie. Uh, yeah, out of any uh, all of the Godzilla films we're gonna be watching, this is one of those ones you can definitely skip if you're not interested in. If you're curious to see what the first fight looks like, then you can easily just look up those clips. Honestly, that's all you really need to see. I will. I I actually do want to mention. 
they at least the fights were consistent. Like as soon as yeah, they appear, I will say the first, like the first, I would say seventy five percent of the movie is a fairly decent build up to a monster movie, but it's like the last twenty five percent is kind of like it just kind of lingers there in limbo, yeah. like them doing their story, which yeah. is again not bad, but it's just like it's not really needed, like. It would have been better if this was, you know, properly in place before this or whatnot, so. Should we briefly talk about its American translation? Oh, jeez. Yeah, we haven't even talked about that yet. This movie is the only Godzilla movie where they tried to, like, not make it a Godzilla movie by giving it a completely different name, and um, I don't know why. I also looked in the box, and it said it, the this release, unlike, um, uh, like, when they made Godzilla King of the Monsters, which is like two years after the original. This is like five years after the original when they did this dubbing. Uh, go down. Like, if you look down. Yeah, this is 90... 59. Oh, okay. Never mind. Um, so, yeah. Four years afterwards. Um, but this one's called Gigantus the Fire Monster. <laughs> and, wow. Oh, man. The only thing I know that... I haven't seen it because I've seen... I played, like, back when I first got this many, many years ago... I put the dub on just for curiosity's sake to see, hear what they say. So it's the it's the usual casing of dubbing. But as soon as they get to Godzilla, all they call him is Gigantus. I'm like, okay, I can't stand this. This is and <laughs> the one thing I knew about the at least the dub version is apparently they uh, they didn't want to use the Godzilla roars, so they replaced Godzilla's roars with Anguirus's roars. So, so every Ang- time Godzilla roars, it's Anguirus's roar. So what is Anguirus' roar? There? It's Anguirus's. So everything they have the is same just Anguirus. Yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and, yeah, it's uh, weird. What was and the... apparently George Takai is a dub actor in this movie. Uh, yeah. So I guess there's that, oh, but I don't my. know who he dubbed. Um, but yeah, that's pretty funny. So I don't recommend that version at all. I guess if you want to uh, laugh, then watch it. But but let's be honest. There's only one movie. That deserves to be watched in dub. And you're going to keep bringing that up every time, aren't you? Can you really look <laughs> me in the eye and say the sub is going to be better than the dub? Yeah, well, probably. Really? <laughs> we'll get to that when we get to that. Yes. If, like I said in the last one, real Godzilla fans know which one I'm talking about. But other than that, it's kind of there. Yeah. Don't want to repeat ourselves too much, but yeah, this is just a... Or else it's just going to be like another, like, like a 25-minute video of us just repeating <laughs> the same things. Because I'm pretty sure we said the exact same thing three times. But that's just what it is. It's just that kind of a movie. So... Oh, did we mention that it was sandwiched in the... Uh... <laughs> yeah! <laughs> in the I forgot to say, it's before... Or no, it's after the original and before the next one. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, yeah, so... Overall, forgot, forgettable, but... And it's okay, but you know it's it's just... don't really completely forget about it. Yeah. Um. So yeah. So look forward to the next one where we talk about a film that's very the... much big. What well, I probably one of the biggest clashes uh, in monster movie. It's very well known for what this uh, did, even though I feel like not a whole lot of people have seen it. But everybody knows that this movie right. exists. So next time, look out for when we do King Kong versus Godzilla, which is uh. Which will be also be being remade soon, so that'll be interesting as well. Alright, see you guys next time. See ya.